So, welcome everyone. So, to introduce this uh, saber, um, I'm still working a little bit on it. That's why the switch is not uh, inserted, installed completely. But uh, just to start this out, this started out as an empty hilt. A lot of people were asking for some empty hilts, so I created some empty hilts of the arcane and then someone uh one of the customers said he really wanted one with the window emitter open which i normally didn't design so me and my partners uh said you know what we can do this we redesigned our original setup uh original design and we made a few changes and i'll describe those changes uh first off uh we changed the emitter a little bit so instead of the emitter being full uh we took this off the middle holder which used to be the retention blade uh now the retention blade is here for the led uh we went a little more uh cannon i guess is the word of the saber itself this is my uh etch pattern for the emitter a uh, few of them went blank because the customer wanted it blank uh and then this customer specifically wanted the etched Hand, hand etched version so I went in and etched it for him uh, hand engraved I should say uh, one of the different things we've been using is a different type of paint this one lays out more chrome like uh, more shinier which we like uh, so one of the other things we do now is we add two retention screws for the blade so it can hold in stronger you can remove the second one if you want uh if you want light to emit it'll, sh it'll shine through there uh we added like i said the little uh cylinders here uh this customer instead of the the normal button one switch button uh wanted a dupe tactical uh switch because this is holding a golden harvest board so he sent us the board wanted us to install it for him um so we had to create a new chassis but we'll get to the chassis part next so one of the other different things in this design is we went again more cannon like uh so we changed the back uh grip or pummel area uh we we designed redesigned it so now it's is being held by these screws here on both ends as well as a retention back here for the for the pommel uh, we extended the fin a little bit more out versus the last one we had and we lowered these more so it can have more of a tapered look um, and as I said we cut out a window emitter and of course with the window emitter comes what a crystal chassis because that's what's on the game so we have an exposed crystal chassis uh, that was a little challenging. I kind of played with it a little bit. I've never done a crystal chassis like this before. So we had to get a little creative. Saw a few images of what the crystal looks like. So it doesn't have all those extra stuff a normal crystal chassis has out there. Because it's supposed to have this plain like look. Uh, let me see. So I bought some brass paint. Went in. Colored some fins and we redesigned the chassis and I'll show you the chassis because the chassis is already installed inside So I don't want to go through the whole hassle of taking it out. So we went in with the chassis originally it was um, black uh, So you know me I got to be a little extra So I told a customer can I do something different? He said yeah be creative I'll give you creative freedom. So we went with this So what did we do with the new chassis? So the new chassis actually comes up, you know several parts uh put together so you got a floating uh 23 millimeter speaker holder uh don't have a speaker with me right now to show you but basically you insert the speaker there uh you have let me see if you can see it no you can't see it but basically uh let me see something Trying to see how I can show you guys. Sorry, I've been building, so I got a lot of stuff everywhere right now. Anyway, let's use this right now. Okay, so ooh, let me see if I can get in. So you got, as you can see, you got 
one hole there, another one here that runs through the chamber so there's no wires exposed via the chamber area. Okay, and it comes out into the chassis here. Uh, the speakers are held by screws and they'll come in set up if you want, if you opt for chassis for Golden Harvest Board. Um, so you got part of the the crystal holder is there is fastened by this here and it has a, a, a kind of like hot glue in there uh, just to be able to shine better because the light will shine through towards the pummel area so that's towards the speaker area which is pretty cool uh, this will be redesigned um, we're actually extending this more and extending this more um, we did it like this because we were thinking of screws but now we're using it as uh, the wires so it's even better anyway going back to the design so we use some pillars on here uh, has some crystals lying around quartz crystals uh, some of the fuse some are not some have some crackling which I like so I left it as is some are clear um, and then what we did was we created it so that this is one piece sorry this is one piece this is one piece and then this is one piece so this connects to this to this to this and then you got the wires uh, to cop brass tubes that go through and connect with the chassis so that this is being held in pretty well all around as you can see to the chassis now in this area um, like I said you got holes down there that let the wires through to run through the channel so let's say for example setting this up this is your crystal chamber uh we have plenty of space there uh for the wires and what you would do is the battery will face this way so you can run your wires to the board here from the battery the led uh will come in through here all the way through this bottom channel you will see there uh, which is pretty deep uh a pretty deep channel I don't really have anything I can show you. Let me see. Here you go. So let's say this is your LED RGB wired. You know, so it will run down through here into another channel down here. That will run to the to the board. Sorry, that will run to the board. So as you can see, you can have plenty of wires running through here the LED the uh, the switch so you don't have to worry about you know it's going to interfere with your battery the battery sits nice and comfortable right in into that section um, right now it doesn't have the pins but let's just say you know without the, without the pins in it's pretty nice and tight as you can see from the pushing it's pretty nice and tight in there uh, so what does that mean is you won't have the battery disconnecting when you when you're sabering um, And the reason why I designed it this way is because usually when the battery is the other way around You got the spring and if this is loose, which is not in this case if This is loose when you hit the saber the battery moves and disconnects in this case It doesn't move anywhere. It goes right into the pins and I provide the pins as well with this so all you got to do is wire it yourself. I, I'm not wiring this type of chassis only because I already wired the crystal chamber, which will come with a crystal in it, a crystal chamber, RGB. Uh, everything is already pre-wired, as you can see. Um, yellow is your power. Then you got your red, green, and blue. So going back to this here, uh, the battery is set up so that how do I take this battery out, right? That's what you say. Well, you know, two ways. You can just kind of prop it. And you know through the hose because somebody was asking me why are these holes there you can prop it through the hose the battery pops up That way you don't have to keep trying and trying and trying to rip off the battery um, So Yeah, you know it has of course my logo so everybody knows this is my 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 chassis style design uh, these little grooves here um, are so that if you want to put let's say uh, tape to hold the battery down or to hold the board down then you can put black tape that's why I didn't color this because the black tape can go on it and it'll cover this section here um, and that's it basically uh, for the chassis design 
everything is nice and tightly held. These are actual brass uh, pillars, standoff pillars. So there's uh, several in there, as you can see, including two uh, brass tubes, hollow tubes that go for the wiring. So we thought about this design. We've been wanting to do a crystal chassis for a while. This will also go under Defiance. I'm having more made. This is these were the the test prototypes, which worked out very well. Um, and I will be coloring it, coloring them the same. Or if you want a different color and you want something like a silver uh, and black, I can do a silver and black design. Uh, just let me know um, prior to buying, and I'll make it that way. So anyway, going back, this is the chassis that's in here. Now the chassis is held in there pretty good. I'm gonna put this back in. Um, so this is the saber, and I'm gonna keep it here so you can, I can do everything with two hands. It'll be easier. Uh, let me see if you can see it. Let me try to get it closer. All right. So again, this is my arcane design. Um, the pummel has the recharge cord in the back. I will be coloring this silver for him before I ship it out. Um, basically, uh, pull out the kill key. Okay, so you got your power button, your auxiliary button. Uh, like I said, I'm going to hold this weird because the button is still not secured. And I need it for pressing. So you hit the power button, it activates. Nice and shiny crystal. This one has kind of a similar pulsing effect. You got a nice sensitivity swings. You got your clashes. And when you clash, hold on. You get a different color. Hold on, sorry. Okay. Um, it's hard to see the colors on these things with the light on. But, uh, yeah, so if you want to change color to the, to the blade or the crystal on this harvest board, you basically uh, double click the power button. Let me see if I can do it without holding the button down. Nope, I have to hold the button down. Hold on. Like I said, I got to secure the button. You can hear that sound that changes the color. Let me see. This is like a yellowish uh, gold. Again, let me hold the button down so you can see. Can you see the crystal? Pretty cool. Um, I like the, the color on the fly for the harvest board. Hold on. I gotta hold this button down. Now, what I like about the harvest board is you can actually change. Um, you can you can actually wire the crystal to the accent pad and then do different styles and pulse effects. Even make it cycle through different colors, um, as opposed to trying to match the blade. In this customer's case, we, we were matching the blade to the LED. So uh, something that wasn't in Fred's uh, uh, manual was. Uh, wiring it parallel he says he's gonna add it to the manual I think it's in the manual now but you can add the crystal parallel to the to the LED board uh, so what I did was I wired the crystal power and the LED power to the battery positive on the pad and then the negatives to the red the pad one two and three and that should imitate uh, the LED um, the only thing I've noticed here is some colors does not imitate on, on the LED. I do not know why. Uh, I don't know if it's a power thing or what, but I'll figure that out eventually. Uh, but it does, as you can see, you get the blue. 
pulsing same thing as the blade uh, the bit the blade you can see is pulsing effects I'm gonna leave most of this to the customer so he can do his own uh, blade effects uh, they're very simple and it's very easy to use the online configurator by Frederick um, but like I said now the other thing you can do I like that color the other thing you can do is uh, you can change the menu sounds as well on the on the folders so that you can get a different sound effect when you do the changes of the fonts I mean of the LED light effects and stuff like that um, so there's a lot of features on the harvest board that I love a lot um, all right, going back to this, uh, let's power, oh, oh no, sorry. You got your, by using the auxiliary button, the second button, let me do it like this. You can uh, get the, let me see if I get this right. You click once, is the blaster. Double click, you got the lock up. No, no, double click is the force. Hold it down, you get lock up. So one, blaster. Two, force effect. Three, I mean, hold down is lock up. Okay, and then power off. You hold the power button. And it powers off. Then if you want to change fonts, you got to do it in power mode off. Okay. And just press it once sorry let me do it here press it uh, press the control box once the Jedi code teaches us but the force guides us cryocarbon aggression defiance that's my sound uh, font And you hear that little crackle in there? I, I, I actually updated that. So I'll change the font. I must have used the old file. Now you got the you got the blaster. So I gotta update his file. That that font. 
that font I actually updated it for the boards we're gonna be using soon um, so anyway uh, going back to one of the other ones This is actually uh, found by four C's, um, and I'm using it for testing purposes on this. So up to date, this is one of my best arcane uh, styles. Like I said, you can change uh, the blade effects. And what I like about this. Is you can actually change the okay, I gotta I gotta put that switch in. You can actually let's say put it on that profile and then next time that that font loads up when you power it off it will stay on that same color, which is pretty cool because you can then customize your profiles. So as you can see, um, you can do a lot of things with this. Uh, Michael, I know you're gonna love this. Uh, I checked everything, everything looks good. Like I said, I just gotta insert the switch. I was making some few changes uh, to it. So I'm uh, seal that next. And once that's sealed, you're good to go. Uh, like I said, you got two retention screws here. Uh, for your blade, I'll send you a, a L wrench as well. Uh, so yeah, so this is my first Golden Harvest install on an Arcane. Uh, we'll be making some Defiance and Arcanes with the Golden Harvest board once they arrive. Uh, decided to go with 10 from V1, so I'm going to design some, uh, I'm going to install some V1s. Um, and then when V2 comes, we'll be installing the V2s. Uh, but the V2s are a bit more... Uh, smooth swings and neopixels so uh I'm, oh i forgot to say what's in here so you, you got the harvest board um nice clean install uh comes out with the pommel the pommel will pull out the whole chassis uh as you can see the chassis um is pretty good in there would not move um so that's pretty good um you got the uh, crystal chamber, a 23 millimeter dark wolf, uh, two watt for own speaker. You have the RGB crystal chassis with a quartz crystal and a custom chamber. You have the Golden Harvest V1 board, very great board, very easy to install, very compact, 
uh, this internal is a whole one inch internal uh, aluminum 66, uh, 6061 T6 uh, design. The shrouds are 3D printed and as you can see, they're very uh, high quality detailed by me um, with, with high quality paint. Trust me, the paint is not cheap for this thing. Um, it's held by 832 uh, screws. Uh, one, two, three, four, five of them. Uh, then, like I said, you have the retention uh, for the LED that goes right here. You just basically unscrew the LED releases. Uh, tighten it back on. It tightens the LED. The blade is held by these two retentions. The inside is a tri -Cree custom actual tri -Cree custom rgb um uh, star which we call wolfies uh the wolf stars and not the wolfies the wolf stars and we actually have those custom made they are uh tri -Cree, uh what is it xpe2 uh on it and we sell those as well the star and the lens for 13 dollars um is uh basically oh, have it. So you would always have a friend. Um it's very nice and bright. This is the blade plug that I have in it for now, but it is very nice and bright. Uh the blade plug, let me show it to you. The blade plug is a 3D printed plug um, that we've 3D printed and we actually provide with all of our installs and our sabers when we make them for the saber runs. Uh, so that's it for that. Like I said, if you haven't bought one, Golden Harvest, it's a nice price right now. Very nice uh, board. This is for the customer. The customer I've been keeping him in tag, in touch, and showing him all the all the transition. Um, like I said, it's not uh, uh, what they call it a hivica or whatever hivica. The one that they've made out of metal, where all this is all metal. Um, you've seen some of the stuff I've been putting out. Ryan, some of the pictures from Ryan Murphy on his cosplay that. Um, this is an upgrade version of what I made for him, and he loves his version. Um, you know, the difference between mine and theirs is, and I'm not knocking theirs off, they have great design. It's just that, you know, one, I'm hand making these, custom hand making these individually. I, sometimes I make four to five at a time. Um, and, you know, it's a bang for the buck. You know, basically, you know, I have my price on my page for an empty hill. As well as, you know, contact me for custom install because it will change depending on what board we're putting in there. Depending on what we're using for LED or NeoPixel or what we're using on it. Uh, but right now I have one. Um, I will most likely be making more in the future. I have one ready to sell. And as you can see, as well as his chassis uh, for that one. So, you know, if you're interested on the last one right now, let me know. Our Defiance will also have a crystal chamber opening and we will be doing a little different look on the Defiance as well for that. So as you can see, like I was talking about earlier, I did this so you can see, it goes right back to red. So it saves the profile and you can do different profile effects. You can, like I said, you can make this, you know, more blink, 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 you know, and do a lot of different things on this. I don't know if you can see it, but you do get a shine back there. Anyway, I hope you enjoy, Michael. I'll touch this baby boy up for you. Give it a nice shine through, a uh, shine up. Because I have been working on it. And then I'll get it out. Get her out to you.
Okay. Um, also, he bought a mask. He bought the stand that I have on it. I got to paint the stand. I got to paint the mask. I almost forgot about that. Meaning, not forget, but forgot to mention it. Um, so, that is the stand he purchased for this hilt. And it's going to be all black with a copper accent on it. And then we got the arcane mask he purchased as well. So, again, Michael, thank you for being a great customer and your patience. Um, as soon as I'm done, I will get this baby out to you. All right. So, until then, that is your arcane to say goodnight. Thank you again. Wolf.